Video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can add Photoshop styles to custom shapes. Right, first thing to do, actually have a shape layer. So I've got here custom shape tool, create it as a shape, and you've got this design now here. Obviously, there's a whole range of different shapes you can use. These ones are from graphic extras, but there's a number of selection of designs supplied with Photoshop. Now, the next thing to do, go over to the styles. If you can't see that, it's window styles, and then just click one of those. These ones are from graphic extras as well, but there's a, a selection of different basic ones that come with Photoshop, which you can use. And of course, you can find hundreds and hundreds of them also on the web. And you can apply any of these. Now, you'll notice when you, as soon as you click each of the styles, you can, it will actually change the different settings here. So over here in the layers palette, you'll see effects bevel now if you want to remove that bevel you don't want the bevel you can just quickly go over there just remove it and you'll see the bevels suddenly gone likewise the satin effect which is that sort of rippling effect in there that's again can be removed now also if you want to actually modify say the bevel you can double click on there and then change like the depth or contour and the contour there gloss contour just click that and you can just modify and you'll see the result. Yeah, change there. Right, so you can do that. Also, you can set them off and on by here as well. So you can see the satin again. It's there you can see that rippling effect. You can actually just click satin and that will disappear again. Exact, exactly as before. Now, of course, you can just then add, say, a stroke. Just add one as well. So just go, click on there. So once you actually click on that, actual setting there you can actually then modify the stroke size if you have it outside right so you can actually see the stroke there click OK there's a whole range of different styles many different effects and like I say you can see them all from there and of course you can move them all in one go just by there or just bring them back again and toggle and also you can just clear them completely by the layer and layer star and just go down to clear layer style if you want to remove them totally or scale them via the scale effects anyway hope you found this tutorial of interest